Hello guys and welcome back to this channel. I'm your host Edikan Obut and this is Isaac Hanus. And on this channel our work here is to bring up to speed with some amazing reports and amazing things happening around Nigeria. So today guys we're going to be looking at the recent news trending on Twitter about the crash of cooking gas. You know, some may want to refer it as LPG, that is liquid purified gas. LPG or cooking gas. Um, so um, from 2021 when the war in ukraine started between um, russia and ukraine started you know russia being the largest exporter of um, gas in the world and so there were sanctions on russia and there were also some issues with the odessa seaport and even the mediterranean was not so safe for transportation so the supply chain global supply chain was heavily affected and this resulted in the you know surge and rise in you know gas prices and even crude oil prices so um if you've been paying attention to the news especially european news you'd see that a lot of um, economies suffered big time especially in europe because of you know gas prices some way you know doubling or tripling in fact as we speak as of this period the country of germany have officially entered a recession due to high energy prices that they've been experiencing since they stopped you know um, buying cheap gas from russia so now the marketers in Nigeria took advantage of this well, I say, situation and also began to increase you know cooking gas prices in the country and it began to move from around 500 until it even got close to a thousand naira per you know a kg of gas so as of you know the first quarter of 2023 we were seeing we saw that um, about 12 kg of cooking gas was being sold by between 12,000 naira and 14,000 naira depending on the location you found yourself within the country. And um, we have we had not seen for a lot of 2021, 2022, and a lot of 2023 before, you know, um, the month of June. We had not seen a single dip or decline, even as little as 0.1% reduction in the price of LPG or cooking gas in the Nigerian sector. So that's almost, um, you may say, almost three years unbroken of um, constant rise in the price of gas. Now, the, the, wo the world had begun to adapt and adjust. Global supply chains began to take on a whole new dynamics. So um, the effect of the Russia and Ukraine war began to settle down you know, in, the, in the fourth quarter of 2022 and even in the first quarter, in fact, in 2023 in general. You know, but the marketers in, in the Nigerian you know, gas industry refused, they decided to exploit this um, situation and to keep selling gas at an unreasonable high price and this was this was due to monopoly and the fact that the sector was highly regulated so there were a lot of government agencies involved and you know once government is involved there will be a lot of room for corruption and just malpractice and exploitation in general so you know when president tinubu assumed office on 29 of may and you know declared that um, fuel subsidy is gone which means that the downstream sector will be highly in fact not highly will become fully deregulated all the regulations that had bedeviled the sector and prevented it from you know being profitable will be removed and private sector can then come in with their private capital and you know explore this sector and make it very efficient and very lucrative for business and also make it cheap for customers in the long run so you know we had seen a surge in pms you know prices it even began first with diesel diesel went up to about a thousand naira per liter and began to come down you know between um shortening between 500 and 600 naira a liter because you know first subsidy was excluded from diesel and um, subsidy was removed from diesel and subsidy was removed from kerosene as well so they shut up and then as time went on they began to come down we're going to see the same thing happen in petrol so when you know the the, the president came out and said that he's going to bring a very robust um monetary policy to tackle some of the issues you know that have locked up potentials in you know the nigerian economy so the, the, he, he talked about um, um unifying the exchange rate talked about you know um cbn reset you know he talked about many economic policies you know that marketers and even um, um financial institutions are, are very positive about so this alone even led to a surge you know in nigerian stock exchange we gained over five point you know, five, over five trillion naira from just the president's speech on the 29th of may so investors are you know very very you know excited about this new move by the president in terms of economy and then com coming back to the gas you know sector you know the president's disposition toward economic policies you know is telling bad on the exploitation that has happened 
and occurred in the industry. So a lot of marketers are noticing the president's body language toward policy, you know, um, policy reset and policy integration in the economy, but particularly in the oil and gas sector. And they understand that once these policies come into place, that the gas sector you know, would experience a dramatic you know, dip in prices. So what happened? They all they they've been too much supply of the products. So people are trying to sell off a lot of products before the sector becomes fully deregulated, so as not to suffer loss, you know, in the coming month. So a lot of the people who bought a, a lot of gas and hoarded it, um, hoping that after the election the price of gas will keep skyrocketing, are beginning to see that you know that will not be so because the monetary policies by this new administration seems to favor efficiency and favor integrity and transparency so that led to you know a lot of um panicking in the market so marketers are dumping their products you know for sale so you know, automatically this is base economics so when there's high supply without a commensurate you know high demand it leads to a crash in prices so people are you know trying to sell off the old stock of gas so as to buy the new set in the deregulated economy and trade on with that so this means that for the longest time, marketers have been selling gas to Nigerians at a false price, at a pseudo price. The market realities demanded that gas should be sold at about between 500 naira and 600 naira for a kg. A kilogram of gas should be sold, you know, between 500 and 600 according to, you know, normal market realities. But marketers, you know, created a false um, scarcity and a false economy in order to benefit from the Russia-Ukraine war, which the whole world has begun to adjust to. So with the coming up of new policies by this government, marketers are panicking and they are saying of so it has caused a crash in price. So as to speak, as of today, you know, in Lagos and in neighboring communities, you know, Goon State and in the southwest, we are seeing the price of gas for a kg, you know, um, will I say um, oscillate between 500 and 600 naira. And we are very optimistic that that is going to uh, trickle down to the rest of the of the nation, rest of the state, and we're going to see gas sell at. Um, between 500 and 600 now for a kg so and and that would mean that you know a 12 kg gas cylinder is going to sell between six you know between 7000 naira and maybe 7500 naira for a 12 kg gas cylinder whereas it was being sold between 12 and 14000 as of may 2023 so you know this is a nice one and please we should learn to push this kind of thing, this this kind of information should trend we should appreciate what is going on now many people are calling out the former president of nigeria the, the person of president muhammad obari and giving him the credit for this you know crash in gas prices they are saying that you know due to the completion of the bonnie bodo road that connects the bonnie island in river state to the mainland river state you know they are saying that because that road has been completed and you know almost all of nigeria's gas that is the energy plant comes from bonnie island so prior to now, every goods and services that were supposed to be accessed from the island, you know, would be brought to the mainland by ferry, be it boats or ships or barges. So that's high cost of transportation and, and high cost of logistics in the sector in general. So with the establishment of a road link between the island and the mainland, the cost of transportation and logistics has reduced and they have now been an increased trade between the island and the mainland. So we have more and more private capital coming to the island to explore the potentials within the island. So, with the, so with the increase in investment, you know, and the, with the and with the increase in competition, a lot of players are beginning to sell, you know, at a lower price in order to attract more people to themselves. So the competition right now in Bonnie Island is favoring the larger economy in Nigeria. So, be it the policies by the president or be it the roads built by the former president connecting the island to the mainland, these two things are the major drivers for the, you know, gas crash price you know right now we're experiencing the country now people are saying that if the president does not implement the policies that is causing this panic that the price would begin to rise in the coming months so we're really hoping that the president goes ahead to implement these policies because his body language right now is suggesting that there will be a very robust you know um reset in the economy you know and uh, in the policies in the regulatory frameworks and the laws and other things that you know we had seen before under the previous administration and you know marketers are very you know um positive and very anticipatory toward what this president is trying to put in place in the economy so i just want to bring you guys with this particular update and i'd like you to please go out and check you know for gas prices in your locality and see if it's beginning to calm down you can comment your gas prices in the comment section share these videos and engage with in, um, engage with us in the comment section like share subscribe 
follow us on twitter facebook and instagram at edikanobot that's our official handle on these other social media platforms and until see again i remain your host edikanobot and this is isaac news godspeed <laughs>